What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. This is Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 6. Shout out. That title is just too long. Anyway, um, we pick up with, you know, we see Monet identifying Lorenzo's body at the morgue. And then we see each one of the kids kind of doing their own thing. We got uh, Diana is, is getting it in with Salim. We have uh, uh, Kane is gambling with 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 the 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 the, the, the people, um, and we see Drew waiting on Guardo to show up. But we know where Guardo is. Guardo is cleaning up after he done took care of Lorenzo. So one by one, Monet calls each one of the kids and tells them. Now I thought that was kind of crazy. Like why wouldn't you call them to the house, tell them it's an emergency, they need to get home, and tell them all at one time so y'all can be there together. But child, it's Monet. Her motherly instincts are just. Not where we would expect them to be, but okay. Then we see, the next morning, we see Tariq still dealing with, you know, the information with Lauren. He finds out about um, Lorenzo, and of course, he jumps up and he's got to run out. Um, Effie asked him if he knew about it, and he was like, why would I? But she kind of side on him a little bit, because I think she knows, well, no, she knows, I know she knows, that he went out the night before, and of course... We know he went to go see Lauren, but I think maybe she might be side on a little bit. Like, where, where were you last night, bruh? You know? Um, then down to Davis's office, we see him talking to um, Sachs, trying to figure out, um, you know, she's, he said, look, I talked to Tariq. He said, that, you know, there's some sort of investigation into Lauren's death. Do you know anything about it? And, of course, Sax is like, I don't know what you know, what you heard. And he was like, I need you to do some investigation to find out because that's what I just told you. Then we find out that um, um, his brother's not doing well. And he was like, I need you to see if you got any connects down at the governor's office so that you can, you know, because cause we're not going to have time to go through the proper paperwork. We just need to see if we can get him out on some sort of clemency or something like that. Of course, he calls one person that I guess only the only person anybody in New York knows that's in any sort of political level is Tate. <coughs> and, of course, Tate does what he always does. He wants some quid pro quo. He's like, listen, I can help you out, but what you going to do for me? Sax thought he wanted a bribe. Tate was like, nah, I need a favor. Like, I'm, you know burn the ham, two in the bush kind of situation. Um, then we have um, Lauren, child. Lauren, did not after she snuck out and went to go see Tariq, now don't nobody know how she got all the way to New York City because clearly wherever they've had her stash is not anywhere close. She don't have no cell phone. I know you didn't get no Uber, but we're going to leave that there. I'm, I've learned to not ask those type of silly questions, you know, like how people are getting around. Who knows? But I do have another silly question. Lauren went back to her parents' house because, of course, she knew how to get in the house. And her parents aren't there because her parents are in protective custody, according to Jenny, who happened to run her down the next day because she had a key to the house. She said, listen, I got keys to your parents' house because they're in protective custody because we're protecting them. Because you." But then I said, now, Lauren, I need you to be thinking because it didn't make sense to me. If you said to me that you've had to keep me away from my parents to protect them because they think that I'm deceased and I'm they you have to keep making them think that I'm deceased to protect them, but if they're in protective custody, why you can't just put me with my parents? See, none of that made sense to me. Now, do I think her parents are in protective custody? Yes, but I think that Jenny's, bosses don't know that Lauren is alive. Now, I know later on in the episode, Sax asked Jenny about it, and Jenny told him, and, and he feels like he figured out that he's the reason why Jenny was able to get her bosses to pay for protective custody for um, Lauren. But I don't know. I'm just not convinced that Jenny is on the up and up with this Lauren situation. I'm just not convinced, convinced about it. But neither here nor there. Of course, you know we have to have the obligatory classroom scene where they're talking about um shoot what was the theme this week um land of lies okay land of lies like i had to remember and they were basically trying to they were talking about lies being truths and what you know what constitutes the truth what constitutes the lie and 
you know, do the lies justify the means, you know, when you tell a lie. And then they were talking about fake news. If everybody's reporting it, but it's not true. But if everybody's reporting it as a fact, does it then become a fact? Which is a very interesting concept. I thought it was a really good conversation. Tariq tells Effie, yeah, I need to, um, you know, I got something I want to show you after class. And she's all excited, thinking that they about to go on this nice little, you know, romantical moment and all that good stuff. Now, while that's going on down to the Tejada house, they planning, you know, Lorenzo's funeral. And um, Drew gets upset because he blames the Russians and he wants to make a move on the Russians. And Monet and Kane are like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Like, we're not doing that. And, of course, he's upset. He runs out. Diana goes after him. Monet tells Kane, listen, um... We're going to let Drew be in charge because that's who I wanted in charge all along, you know. Um, so, we're going to let Drew run things, okay. And because um, for real, for real. Because at the end of the day, Monet still know she still feels like Kane knew that Lorenzo had, had, take, had you know, off Zeke and kept the secret. So, she don't trust Kane either. I don't think she ever really fully cut, trusted Kane after Kane did what he did, you know, over the last two seasons, for real, for real. But she did tell Kane, look, I need you to make the money legit. We have his insurance policy, and we need to keep this money clean. Like, we need to, we don't want to separate the money, so you figure out how you're going to invest this money and keep it clean. Of course, he goes straight to Brayton. We'll get to that in a second. Tariq rolls up on Brayton and beats the brakes off of him and basically tells him, you knew about Lauren the whole time, and you lied to me. Like, first of all, you tried to kill Lauren, and then... You kept it away from me. You told me you didn't tell me. And Brain was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, I didn't kill Lauren. But, you know, Kane said that that's what we had to do. He was like, how the hell did Kane get into this? Well, she was wearing a wire. Kane found out. We had to eliminate, blah, blah, blah. And so, to, and so um, but he, you know, Brain was like, but I didn't do it. Like, he was like, oh, Effie did it. And he was like, well, I mean, well, you know. And so Tariq was like, you know what, whatever. So Effie killed my girl. You knew about it. You didn't tell me. So he runs off. And, of course, Brayden is like, fuck. Brayden and Effie show up to the warehouse to go do, you know, go to work. Tariq done locked them out of the warehouse. Brayden was like, bro, this is my warehouse. Like, my, my family owns this building. Like, how he going to not let me in? And I understand that Tariq is upset. But Tariq didn't think this plan through. Like, whether you like it or not, you in bed with the devil. Like, you you, you in bed with the devil. Like, you may not like it. You may not appreciate it. But you got to deal with Brayden and Effie, at least until y'all get from up under Noma, which, child, who knows when that's ever going to happen. But in the meantime and in between time, he done locked them out of the warehouse, and he ain't going to let them, you know, get in on the business. Effie, no, actually, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm jumping ahead. He takes Effie on their little field trip first. My bad. He takes Effie on the field trip. Um, and as they're riding, you know, Tariq was like, yeah, so, you know, you know a lot about me. I don't really know a lot about you. Tell, tell me something about you. So she starts telling him a story about when she was younger and how her one of her mother's boyfriends molested her and how she finally told her mother and the mother ended up marrying the dude. Um, which further is making me feel like I'm not saying that they're going to do this because, again, I don't give the power writers a whole lot of credit. But that further would push me into thinking that maybe this person that Effie thinks is her mother isn't really her mother. Because a blood mother doing something like that, I'm not saying it don't happen because we know it's some sorry-ass blood mothers out here. But I don't know. It just made me feel like, mm, you know. But neither here nor there. Um... Tariq was like, well, is there anything you want to tell me? Anything else you want to tell me? So then Tariq ends up telling her about how he ended up killing his father, right? How he was protecting his mother. His mother said we had to eliminate it, and I couldn't let her do it, so I did it myself, you know, to protect my mom. So then Effie realizes, okay, something, something is up. She starts looking around like, where are we going? And he ends up taking her to the reservoir where... He, she pushed Lauren's car into the water. And at first, she was, you know, playing scared. Like, you know, Tariq, you got to understand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then finally, she was like, but you know what? I did what needed to be done. She was wearing a wire. She was going to snitch on us. And you know the game. 
Like, you know, you know the world we live in and you know that I did what I had to do. And Tariq was like, you know what? I was going to kill you, but yeah, I'm not going to do that now. Because I think Tariq really does love Effie. So he didn't do what he should have done with Effie. Um, but he did leave her ass there and told her to get home the best way she could. Then that's when she called Brayden to come and get her. And that's when they went to the warehouse and realized that Tariq had locked them out of, you know, locked them out of the warehouse. Um, so when Brayden went to go talk to Kane, when Kane wanted him to watch the money, Brayden was like, this is a good start, but like, you're going to need to add some more to this. But if you can, you know, get the money together, I can absolutely, I can invest this down to the brokerage and I can clean it up for you real nice. And that's when they had to talk about Tariq. And Kane was like, how you going to let Tariq lock you out of your own shit? He was like, you going to let your ball, you going to let your balls drop. Like, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, Tariq mad, and okay, he might have a reason to be mad, but you want to, you you can't just let this man do what he want to do. Like, that's your family's building. Y'all know we got to work together. We got to get this money up for Noma. Like, he can be mad, he can be in his feelings, but we got, we, we, we got business to handle. Like, we, chop, chop. And so, Braden was like, you know what, you right. And so... Tariq goes to go get into the building for his internship and his car don't work. So security is like, oh, you got to wait for, you know, Brayden to come down and let you in. So Brayden comes down and he tries to talk to Tariq. He tries to explain to Tariq, listen, I'm sorry about how this whole thing went down. But at the end of the day, we need to work together. We need to figure out a way to work together in order for us to, to, to do what we got to do for Noma. Like you, you missing out the big picture on this. And Tariq basically told him to kiss his ass, okay? Now, while all of this is going on, child, um, Lauren wants to talk to Sax. Lauren tells Jenny that, you know, she need to talk to Sax before she decides whether she's going to stay um, in this program or not or whether she's going to blow this whole spot up. So when Jenny is talking to Sax, you know, Sax basically threatens her. and Like, listen, this is crazy. I, You know, I know that this ain't on the up and up. Like, you know that Tariq didn't didn't do this. Like, he might have done some other stuff, but he ain't trying to kill Lauren. And she basically told him, listen, either you do what I tell you to do, or I'm going to press charges against you for showing up at Truth um, Nightclub with a gun the night that James St. Patrick died. Now, remember, it's an open case. Nobody has been convicted for the death of ghosts. So, Sax is sort of, like, stuck. So we see him talking to Lauren, and I feel like he was honest with Lauren to a certain extent. Like, he was like, listen, at the end of the day, Tariq might not be the one that tried to kill you, but he's not innocent. He is a monster. He is out here, you know, dealing drugs, and he is suspected in some other, you know, unalivings. So, you know, we really need you to work. We really need you to, you know, stick with the program and help us help us convict him, help us get, get him, you know, put him in the whole organization, you know, in jail. Like they're not innocent. Um, um, what happened next? So then, so Tariq decides that because he didn't cut out Effie and Brayden, that he's going to get Diana to do, you know, to, to sell the drugs in, um, colleges and stuff. And I said, that poor Diana, if it ain't her daddy, then it's it's now is 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 um Tariq that's you know got her out here you know wheeling and dealing child wheeling and dealing. So down to the repast, you know, it is what it is, child. Um, you got Lorenzo's, um, all of his you know associates coming through, paying their respects, dropping off a bunch of damn money, and you know one of um the dude that um ended up leaving the crew. You know, of course, he, you know, hitting on Monet, being real disrespectful. And Drew, once again, is on this whole, it was the Russians, it was the Russians. We're not going to get no respect until we avenge, you know, Poppy's death. And Monet is like, first of all, sir, I'm going to need you to chill out. Like, like we don't have the willpower. We don't have the manpower, I should say, not willpower. We don't have the manpower. Like, I need you to chill out. Now, while this is going on, Diana is upstairs mourning her daddy's death. And here comes Celine. Telling her, basically, your daddy got what he deserved. Like, he was living that street life, and, and street life came back to bite him in the butt. So she ends up putting him out, and this dude is really shocked. Like, he's really like, for real? You mad? Like, you you mad? You you put me out? And I'm like, bruh, 
you do realize you are insulting her damn daddy. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, he really was like, I can't believe you mad at me. So you just said my daddy got what he deserved. You better be lucky. Because she threatened to call her brothers. You better be lucky she didn't call her brothers first, okay? So Tariq, after, you know, Brayden wouldn't let him in the building, he went to go visit um, his sister's grave. And his mama, his grandmama was there. And she basically told Tariq what he needed to hear. She said, sir. Because he was talking to Raina, talking about how he missed her and how sorry he was and how he's hurt and he can't trust nobody. And his grandmama was like, um, sir, you did all of this. Like, you're the reason why all of this is going on. You're the reason why my daughter ain't here. You're the reason why your no, um, why Raina's not here. She was like, and what happened to your daddy? Like, uh, did you do that too? And she said, listen, just get out. Like, let's, and just, let's just go. Let's get out because... At the end of the day, like, there's nothing good is going to come out of the way you live it. Like, the, if you keep living your life the way you live in your life, you keep lying and doing the things you're doing, you're going to end up where your daddy is. And this, it ain't no good going to come out of none of that. So, she gets him to, um, so he tells her, all right, let's go. Like, let's go. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't no way he going nowhere. Like, he, Noma going to find you, you know, so, um, we do see him packing up a bag, right? We see him packing up a bag. And we see him leaving and getting on the subway. And then, of course, you know, Noma's goons are following him. And they end up scooping him up. Now, I don't know why they thought he was going to run. Like, nothing in that scenario made me feel like he was doing anything to make them feel like he was going to run. But they were like, oh, well, you, you were off your normal trail. You were off your normal trail. I'm like, damn. So he can't go shopping. He can't make a left instead of a right. But he used it as an opportunity to get his um, grandmother out. Because remember, Noma's goons are using his grandmother as a threat over him. So he was able to get the grandmother into witness protection. So that threat against, at least against Tariq, is gone. They ain't got no family on Effie. So that really only leaves the Tejadas that I sort of, or in Brayden. And he don't care about Brayden right now. Um, that are sort of in, in bad. Drew meets up with Guado and, and tells Guado that it was the Russians who killed my daddy and I need to get revenge. Well, of course, Guado knows that's not what happened. He knows who killed his daddy because it was him. But he allows, like, he goes along with it. I guess he doesn't want to raise concern or raise any suspicion. So him and Drew go out on this damn, they go out and they kill the Russian, right? And it was so stupid. He rolled up. He rolled up in the restaurant, don't have on no disguise. I mean, he got on a hat like he a delivery man. The He has a whole conversation with the waitress, so now she can describe his face. And they end up shooting up the joint and killing the Russian. And I'm just like, that was stupid. Like, for so many reasons, that was stupid. So, Tariq goes by to see Diana to convince her to sell drugs for him. Um, she drunk. They end up having sex. Um, the next morning, Effie comes by trying to hit Diana with the girl. We need to, we need to work together. Girl power. We can do this ourselves. We don't need Tariq. And of course, Diana opens the door and she sees Tariq on the bed, putting his hoodie on. And of course, Effie, you know, puts two and two and comes up with full child. And she says, F all of y'all. Tariq tells, um, Diana, you can, you know, leave some bricks up. You know, I got a couple of empty, you know, uh, 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 uh spots up on the roof i'll give you a code we see diana go up to put the drugs in the little fake brick you know wall and they didn't put a camera up there remember it wasn't a camera there but first at first which is why they were using that spot but now they didn't put a camera up there child so they got diana on camera putting a four five bricks inside of this damn fake locker room um or a fake locker um then we get down to the fume, child. We at the fume, and <sighs> the Russians show up and they shoot up the fume. Everybody got guns down to the fume. It turns into a whole like Godfather shootout. Don't nobody get arrested, though. Nobody at the funeral get arrested. Even though Sax is there, we saw Blanca and Jenny there. 
Nobody got arrested down to the funeral. Uh, but we just saw, later on, we found out that they rounded up the Russians. I guess all the Russians in New York got arrested. I don't know. I don't know. But neither here nor there, child. Um, Braden goes to his girl down to the um, brokerage firm to tell her about um, investing the money. And she was like, I need a cut. You know, like, you want me to clean dirty money? I need a piece of the action. I ain't mad at her. Go ahead, girl. Make your money. Make your money the best way you can, child. Um, so after the film, Kane goes to see Effie. Effie's about to blow up the app, right? She mad, and she was like, I guess they forgot that I'm the one that built this coffee app. So if I delete the app or I F up the app, then they ain't going to have no choice but to do some work with me, right? Kane goes to see Effie, and he like, listen, I got a better idea. I have a better idea. Well, we, we don't need to, um, we don't need to, um, delete the app. We're going, you know, we're going, we're going to work this out. We're going to make it work to our advantage. Now, I don't know what he got in mind, but we're going to find out. Then, we see Brayden meeting up with Tariq, and basically, Tariq tells Brayden what we already know, which is, Look, we got we to gotta figure out a way to work together. Like, you know, I ain't really, I'm really, I'm mad at you and I ain't really effing with you right now. But at the end of the day, we kind of both need each other. So we got to make it do what it do. We got to make it do what it do. Then we see Monet come home after the funeral. She still got on her funeral clothes. And Lorenzo sitting in the living room smoking a cigar telling her, you know the kids going to figure it out. They not stupid. And when they figure it out, they're going to hate you. They're going to turn on you because you got rid of their daddy. So I don't know how long Monet's going to see Lorenzo's ghost, but he ain't wrong in what he said because Kane done already figured it out. I just think Kane is buying his time and trying to figure out what his next move is going to be and find out if he next on the hit list, for real, for real. Um, the other two, I don't know what they're going to do when they find out, but maybe it's going to be a whole situation. Anyway... That was the episode. Let me know what y'all think. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.